Good morning, scholars. Today we're going to continue our journey through Farr's Homeric Greek, a book for beginners, dealing with the fifth part of Lesson 16, that is, lines 11 through 16 of Iliad Book 1. So we'll begin with the prose versions that Farr provides. Number one, Apollon heke balos kolutai basile e atredei kai pempe nuson ka ken anastraton akaion. Olekon tai de laoi huneka dios atreides e ti masa crusain are teira. Again. Apollon heke balos kolutai basileia atreide kai pempe nuson ka ken anastraton akaion olekonto de la oi huneka dios atreides e ti masa crusain areteire. Number two. Fruces ga are der heke bolu erketai epito as neas a kayon. Pere da peresi ha poina dugatros. Hain atreides eke in stratoi. Again. Fruces ga are der heke bolu. Erketai epito as neas a kayon. Pere da pere si apoina dugatros. Hain atreides eke in stratoi. 3. Ho da rete eke stemata heke balu apolonos in kersen. Ana cruceo scapetro, Kailisetai pantasakaius, Malasta da treida, Duo cosmetore laon. Again. Hodae te eke stemata, Hekebalu apolonos in kersen. Ana cruceo scapetro, kai liseto pantas a caius, malesta da traida duo, cosmetore laon. 4. Apollon colosetai basilei, kai orse nuson cacain anastraton. Again. Apollon colosetai basileie, kai orse nuson kaken anastraton. 5. Eleuson tai epitoas neas akaion, kai oisuse aperesi apoina basileie. Again. Eliusontai epitoas neas a kaion, kai oisuse aperesi a poina basileie. 6. Lissontai pantas a kaius. Again. Lissontai pantas a kaius. 7. Atreides. E ti masen are teira, kai uk apeluse dugatra. Again, atreides e ti masen are teira, kai uk apeluse dugatra. Okay, now for Homer himself. Hunekaton crusain, eti masenare tera atreides, 
hoga el de do asepine asa gaion, lusomenos te dugatra, beron da beresia boina. Stemate con in kesen, heke balu apolonos, cruceo anas gaitro, kaili seto pantas agaius. A tre ida de malista duo, cosme tore laon. Okay, so commentary for line 11. Ton equals Latin ilum, that well known one, Crusain, since the circle of legends is familiar to the hearers of the bard. Etimasen, from Atimazdo. E re te ra. Observe that this verse ends in two spondes, making it a spondi spondiac verse. This, together with the position of the final word, throws special emphasis upon it, making it practically equivalent to although or even though he was a priest, which would, of course, make him an object of more than ordinary reverence. Hunekaton Crusain, a T Masen Are Te Ra. Now, this ton is an example of the particular relative. Hunekaton Crusain, a T Masen Are Te Ra. The particular article, as my says at 11 19. The particular article denotes individual persons or things as distinguished from others of the same kind. Thus, mainetai anthropos means the man is mad. And there's a definite article hiding behind that aspiration at the beginning of anthropos, which stands for hoanthropos. So, thus, the man is mad. Now, special uses of the particular article are numbered by Smythe, and here we just need the first one. The particular article defines A, objects well known. So, ho ton hepta sopotatos solon, ho ton hepta sopotatos solon, solon, the wisest of the seven sages. And here we see two articles, the ho with Solon and the ton oh, uh, with Hepta. So both the seven sages are well known to any Greek person. And of course, Solon is well known. So ho, ton, Hepta, sopotatos, Solon. So here, likewise, the article with ton crusane denotes God, everybody knows who this is. Commentary line 12. Atre ides is made distinctly emphatic by position. It is he who must bear the burden of responsibility in slighting the priest. Epineas, i.e., to the Greek camp on the shore where they had drawn up their ships out of the water. Atre ides, hoga el tetoas epineas sakaion. Now, when the sense of a line carries over past the end of the line and onto the next, like this, it's called enjambment. E N J A M B M E N T. And so we have that here with atra ides carrying over into the next line. Okay, commentary 13. Lu Samanos from Luo. Future middle parsable nominative singular masculine, modifying ho, which refers to the priest, and translated being about or desiring to ransom to ransom. Baron, a present active parsable nominative singular masculine, modifies ho again, means bearing or bringing or literally carrying. Um, Aperesia boina is an example of epic exaggeration, not rare in all such compositions. So, lu somenos te dugatraperon, 
Tapere siab a boina. And we'll see more regarding lu somanos tetugatra because the future particle can express purpose. And this is from Smythe 2065. Purpose or object. The future, sometimes the present participle, is used to denote purpose, especially after verbs denoting to come, to send, to go, to summon, etc. So we have here, el te toa sepinea sakayon, he came, lu somenos. And so he came in order to ransom, okay? Uh, thus the example here, having sent a herald in in advance to proclaim war, to proclaim war, that's the purpose of the herald. Pro pimpsantes keruka, polemon pro erunta. Pro erunta is a future participle, and so it expresses the purpose of the sending and of the journey, just like lusomenos as future expresses the purpose of uh, crusade, crusades coming to the army. This next one's wonderful because it's from Thucydides as well. Ho babaros epi helada du lo somanos el ten. Ho babaros epi ten helada du lo somanos el ten. So here again we see el ten, he came, the barbarian, to Greece, du lo somanos, with the purpose of enslaving it. So the future participle often expresses purpose or objective. Now, commentary line 14. Ekon is a present active participle, nominative singular. It modifies ha, having, holding. The ransoms were probably of gold and silver bullion and other valuable articles of commerce. The priest depends upon two motives to influence the Greeks. One, cupidity, and so he brings the presence, a poina. Reverence, which amounts to his wearing the fillets, ribbons of white wool, and bearing the scepter as insignia of his office. Stem atacon in casin, heke balu apolonos. Now, a little more about this participle, uh, ekon. It's an example of the circumstantial participle. Let's call it the circumstantial participle. And when you get to that point, a view over of Smythe's uh, sections on the three types of participles, circumstantial, supplementary, and um, I'm just blanking on the third, uh, is, is, is very uh, edifying. Although, you know, largely in Homer, you pretty much see uh, circumstantial participles are really what you're going to see. But, so 2054. The circumstantial participle is added without the article to a noun or pronoun to set forth some circumstance under which an action, generally the main action, takes place. So the third type of participle is attributive, and that occurs with the article, where I can say the one coming, you know, hel, ho, elton, um, or the one who'd come, who would come, um, ho, or the one coming, ho erkomenoi, ho erkomenos. Okay, so, but without the uh, article, you have the circumstantial participle. And it's added to a noun or pronoun to set forth some circumstance under which an action, generally the main action, takes place. So, reading A, the circumstantial participle Particle, participle thus qualifies the principal verb of the sentence like an adverbial clause or a supplementary predicate. So he gives the example meta tauta epe, afterwards he said, and compares that with gelon epe, laughing he said, he said laughingly. So that second example is, an, is gelon is a um, supplementary participle. He said laughingly, "Ape," as he said. Such participles usually have the force of the sub of subordinate clauses added to the main verb by conjunctions denoting time, condition, cause, etc. And Smythe gives examples of each of these. 
but it may often be rendered by an adverbial phrase or even by a separate finite verb, which brings out distinctly the idea latent in the participle. So Greek loves to have a main verb and then the participle, and you get this combination of action. So here is his nice example of a uh, circumstantial par participle of manner. Par elaonon tetagmenoi. They marched past the soldiers in order. Tetagmenoi. The um, perfect middle passive participle of tasso. Tetagmenoi. And you see it's, it's masculine plural oi because par elaon is plural and the subject is probably the soldiers, which is masculine. So, stein mate kon in kesen, heke balu apolonos. This describes how Crusades came into the camp. He just, just didn't sneak. He walked in arrayed as a priest, and there were the soldiers looking. Wow, look at this guy with his, you know, this priest of Apollo coming. So, stein mate kon in kesen, heke balu apolonos just describes the grandeur of um, Crusade's entry into the camp, which, of course, you can contrast with um, Priam's entry into the camp in the final book of the poem. Okay, so commentary 14, continuing. Kersen Hekebalu. Originally, Kersi Hekebalu, you have the digamma, and so since the Athenians lost the sense of the digamma, they threw in the uh, movable new to s prevent the elision. So, Hekebalu Apollonos. Apollo has the epithet free, through, free shooter or sharpshooter. Actually, Heke is far, so he shoots from afar. Apply to him here, introducing him in his capacity as archer god, so important for the further action where he slays the Greeks with his arrows. In his capacity as a war god, Jehovah was also an archer god at times. God is a righteous judge. He has bent his bow and made it ready. Quoting the Old Testament, compare the story of the rainbow. I shall set my bow, i.e. my symbol as warrior god, in the cloud. Um, again, from the Old Testament. So, stay matakon in kesen hekebalu apolonos. Commentary 15, Crusoe, and you have Synesis, which, which we've described in the earlier lecture. Crusoe on a, um, uh, epic corruption, and Kaili Seto. Um, you have to see what's, uh, that's the same thing, epic corruption again. The latter part of this verse would imply that the scene takes place at the meeting of the assembly of the Greeks. The scepter was a symbol of authority. Of course, it was of gold if it is to appear decently in epic. The whole atmosphere of the, of the poem of this kind is super mundane. Its leading characters are divine or semi-divine, and their equipment must all be of more precious metal than that which suffices for ordinary mortals. Thus, Apollo has a golden sword. Several of the warriors before Troy have golden armor and the gods set on golden thrones which rest upon the golden pavements of the palaces in Olympus. In the same way, the New Jerusalem has streets of gold and gates of pearl. Okay, eliseto, um, perfect active indicative third singular deponent verb. Observe the force of the imperfect. The old priest kept entreating Agamemnon and his brother Menelaus. But Agamemnon, in spite of these repeated opportunities to avail himself of the mercy of the god, chose deliberately to slight his holy ambassador. Um, I'm printing a text that's slightly different from the one that um, Far prints. So you see in the text I'm using uh, the uh, Liseto is unaugmented. Okay, uh, commentary 16. Atre ida, and if you look back at your declension of first declension nouns, 
you'll see that this is the dual of the nominative and accusative. And like I say, it's best once you've secured your uh, ingrained in your head the endings of the singular and plural of the four main uh, cases to just learn the uh, pick up on the on the dual forms as you encounter them, because it's not worth burdening yourself with them at the start. So Atreida, the two sons of Atreus. Okay, the priest is a na native of Chrysa, a small town near Troy, which has been plundered by the invading Greeks. His daughter has been taken prisoner of war, and he now comes to the Greek camp where the ships have been drawn up on the shore to ransom her. Atreida de malista duo, cosme tore laon. Laon. And cosme tore, again, is a dual a noun, a nominative accusative of the second declension, of the third declension, excuse me. Cosme tore. Okay, so here we go. Again. Hunekaton crusain, eti masenare terra, atreides. Ho ga el teto as epinea sa caion, luz omenos te tu gatra, peron ta peresia poina, stematecon in que sin, heke balu apolonos, cruso anas que tro, cailis eto pantasacaius, atreita de malista duo. Cos me tore la on. Now I'll repeat it slower in segments so you can repeat after me. Hu ne caton crusain. E ti masen are te ra atre ides. Hoga el te do as epineas acaion. Luz omenos de tu gatra. Peron a peresia poena. Ste matecon in que sin. Heke balu apolonos. Cruceo an escape throw. Kaili setopan tasakaius. Atreida de malista duo. Cosme tore laon. Okay. So, um, have a good day. Keep working hard, and um, here's a nice image of Apollo the far thrower. Uh, you see his arrows on his chest and this majestic uh, statue. Very good. So have a good day. Keep working hard, and thank you for being interested. Goodbye.